All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Country Doggo Sci-Fi Statics mod, which is being made by user Country Doggo. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a number of static buildings for you to place in the world using the Kerbal Constructs mod. And we've looked at a few packs that do similar things to this in the past, and I have always enjoyed things that add into Kerbal Constructs constructs as it really helps you to customize the world you live in here to your liking. So let's uh, jump over here to Jebediah who I have placed in the middle of a nice little sci-fi colony I've built with these country doggo parts. And I should point out right off the bat that these are still very much a work in progress. Despite that though, something about them I just really really loved when I saw on the space dock and so had to take a look. But yes, these are Blah, blah, blah. These, rather, there's the word I was looking for, are the sci-fi static building parts in question. We have a number of small buildings, a couple of fuel tanks, some piping, and then a big old drill over here. A small selection for now, but hopefully we do see some more in the future, as uh, Country Doggo did put on the page there, that he does hope to update this regularly, or as regularly as he can. And all in all, they are pretty good looking buildings not exactly stock alike with their texturing but still I kind of like them something about them like I said something about it I just really really enjoyed but let's take a look at each of these parts individually so let's turn back on our UI here and of course being Kerbal Constructs we need to hit Control K to open up the Kerbal Constructs menu and let, these are our current buildings that we have here but let's spawn some new ones and just type into the title here the si oh no not school we need Sigh, there we are, and here we go. These are the different buildings we do have with this mod. So the first one is the just sci-fi building, and that's uh, this uh, big fella right here. Let me just kind of pop that there so we can see a bit more. And just a nice uh, large colony structure for you to put on uh, various worlds and moons around the solar system. Very nice indeed. I do really like the look of it all, and it does have some additional height and a large staircase, so if you don't want it quite that tall, you can really bring it down a bit, even all the way down to uh, there if you so desire. But all in all, a, a nice little structure. Let us delete that instance though and bring out Sci-Fi Building 2, which is this lovely small hangar sort of uh, shaped thing. Very nice indeed. I actually think this is my favorite of the buildings as it is kind of, I think, closest to stock alike in texturing. Uh, and it looks quite good. I do very much like this thing. And uh, there we are, just a nice little building. Let's delete that one out. Sci-Fi Building 3 then is is this far more rectangular blocky thing another good building I think goes nicely with the uh, large one in its sort of texturing and style very good indeed we then have the very large sci-fi drill platform with a very cool moving pump part there I do a very much like that thing and it's just Massive, which is always great to have for these sorts of things. I don't know why, but it just amuses me. They can then delete that one out. After that, we have a set of pipes for you to put between the buildings. And this is the straight pipe section. As you can see, we have some nice support blocks under there with a bit of uh, depth to them, so you can raise or lower them to your heart's content. And all in all, just a nice set of pipes. We then have an S a variation of a set pipes right here now sadly we don't have just a straight turn of piping we only have this s bend so if you do want to say uh, turn between like 90 degrees between stuff you're gonna have to attach it to a building or one of these fuel tanks we'll have a look at here in a moment and then sort of go off from that so hopefully though we do get just a straight turn item at some point but yes, just another nice one here. We have three support blocks for these pipes, and they do look good. And the final part is this sci-fi fuel tank, which, if we bring out here, is just a nice large cylindrical tank. And again, is uh, close-ish to stock alike and fits in, I think, nicely with the hangar-looking one over there. Uh, very good, and just a nice, uh, nice big tank. And that is all of the parts that we do have. And all in all, 
all, it's, I think, a pretty fun little selection of items. I can't wait to see what does get added in the future. I really hope that we get some uh, more cool, fun buildings, piping, maybe, I don't know, like a big satellite dish or something. I think it would be quite entertaining. But for right now, in its first release, I think it's pretty darn good. And if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, yeah, that really is it for this particular episode. So I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.